you'll know if you've gone to closing with, with guidance or with any other home finance company, you'll know that there's not just one contract. There are a series of contracts involved in any kind of a purchase of a home for legal reasons. Uh, it's to protect the consumers and, and to protect the interests of the, uh, of, of the, of the, uh, of the financiers as well. So what's happening here uh, in this question is that there's a little bit of confusion, and I think that the confusion uh, has to do with the succession of contracts. First of all, and most importantly, there is no loan involved in the guidance model. As I mentioned to you uh, earlier, the lender-borrower relationship is a matter of charity. That's not business. And that's obviously not what's, what's happening here. Uh, this is a business transaction. It is a partnership. Uh, the nature of the partnership is that of shirkat and milk to begin with. Uh, because, as I say, this is a complex uh, relationship. It begins with a partnership. But there's far more to it than that. And each one of these, uh, and, and, uh, of these the further steps is represented by a contract. So let's begin at the beginning here with the Musharaka model. The Shirkat al Aqd is what we understand commonly to be, in, in, uh, you know, the, the kind of partnership that everyone knows about. In other words, uh, you and your brother in law uh, pool your money together, some capital together, and uh, you purchase a, uh, a gas station, and uh, you know you, do, you you work out the details: who's going to work, uh, you know, who's going to contribute, how much time, and so on and so forth. And you share the you share the profits or you share the loss together. That's shirkat So that's a pro that's a partnership arrangement in which both partners into which both partners enter as a result of their own volition. Right? It's their own will that they do so. Shirkat and milk, on the other hand, is a, 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 the kind of partnership which is not, um, which is not initially intended for, uh, for, uh, for, uh, uh, for profit. It's the kind of pro uh, partnership that you go into as a result of your jointly being named benefactors in a grant or benefactors in a, in a will. So your uncle leaves you uh, a, a business or your uncle leaves you a property and he also leaves it to your brother or, or your uncle. So you find yourself in a position of, of, uh, uh, of being a partner in that property. So this is shirkat and milk, where milk is property. Now, over the centuries, the Fuqaha developed many different kinds of, of partnerships, and um, the, these are two examples of, of the kinds of partnership, uh, uh, partnership. But the kind of partnership that we considered for the first step in the home finance process for guidance residential was based on shirkat and milk. In other words, you, the homeowner, prospective homeowner, are going into, are entering into a property con uh, uh, partnership with guidance, such that you will take a co-ownership share, just as if you'd inherited it, uh, with your partner. Um, with the difference, of course, that you're contributing here a down payment, um, and. Uh, uh, and 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 then uh, and your partner here, uh, guidance is actually putting up the cash for the purchase of the home. But the relationship between you and guidance at this stage is no more than shirkat al milk. You've not entered into this arrangement in order to profit, and so you, there's no. Uh, uh, the, the question of sharing profits or sharing losses at this point does not arise. Thereafter, the nature of your relationship is defined um, by something else. You, the homeowner, want to take 
possession of the home in the sense that you want, uh, you've entered into this contract in order to live in the house that you've chosen. You have actually done the choosing of the house, uh, even though your, your share in the partnership may be smaller. Uh, and you are the one who uh, desires exclusive um, rights to habitation. So your larger partner, your partner with the larger shares, will step back and you can move into the house. However, when you do that, then the nature of your, uh, something else kicks, the, the nature of your relationship uh, becomes that of a, uh, a partial uh, lessee. So uh, you as the lessee, because you're, op op you're occupying the home, will be paying monthly payments to the lessor, which is guidance residential. Uh, and as, uh, a, a, as a part of your monthly payments, you will also be, be, be making a, a, pay, a, a partial payment, which, was, uh, which is uh, aimed at buying more shares for yourself so that the share of guidance decreases while yours increases. So from that perspective, your relationship becomes uh, one of musharaka mutanaqisa. So you have a, another kind of partnership, uh, a decreasing value partnership or an increasing, a diminishing value partnership where the shares of the financier diminish in proportion to the shares of the homeowner, which increase. So um, this is why, and that, that monthly payment being part uh, rent on the lease and being part purchase of the shares uh, uh, can easily be misconstrued by, uh, by anyone uh, as, as a loan because it looks like it. Uh, it, it looks like a, a monthly mortgage payment. Moreover, I mean, we should, here's the beauty of this. Uh, the, most, the, 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 the U.S. government uh, afford, uh, accords to home buyers of con unconventional loans a tax break for the amount of interest that they pay. So why should, when in fact, you know, the idea was to, uh, when Congress passed that bill and allowed that tax break, when they did that, their purpose was what? Their purpose was to encourage people to uh, buy homes. This was, you know, a part of the American dream. The idea is to enfranchise people, get them uh, becoming responsible members of society by owning homes. So they afforded them this special tax break. Well, we don't pay interest, and so we wouldn't nominally be allowed this tax break. But in fact, the spirit of the uh, uh, of the uh, bill passed by Congress was to reward people for uh, becoming owners of homes, for home ownership. So what we've done here in this uh, in in this contract is pr is to provide the grounds for Muslims to take advantage of this particular uh, provision uh, uh, granted by Congress to homeowners, people who are buying homes. Even though we're not buying homes in the same way, we're buying homes in our way without interest, but we're doing it in a way that looks like, kind of, it, it is interest. And uh, we are then able to take uh, advantage of the uh, tax break 